Coming up on 851 on this Saturday morning, I want to start you out with a quick tour of the Neighborhood Weather Network, and we'll start our stops here at the Century Casino in Cripple Creek. Hey, something going on there at Bennett Avenue. If you're like me, you're looking for an excuse to take the bike out, right? 23rd Annual Salute to American Veterans Rally and 28th Annual POW MIA Recognition Ride. That's going on this weekend up there in Cripple Creek. Some beautiful weather, especially if you want to be out and about in the morning. Watch out for the thunderstorms in the afternoon if you'd like to head up there. But, uh, yeah, some friends. Go look at some bikes. Have a good time out there. Looks great up in Teller County this morning. 74 degrees right now in Colorado Springs at Mortgage Solutions Financial. Most of the city now in the low to mid-70s. We have a ton of blue sky over the Pikes Peak region. We're already up to 80 at Parkview Medical Center in Pueblo. The wind is calm right now. We did have a bit more cloud cover this morning. Looks like there's still some leftover clouds there as viewed from the hospital. But obviously the sun is still shining through and we're warming up quickly. Skycast shows a few showers maybe break out across the plains here by lunchtime. Those shouldn't be real significant if they materialize at all. The majority of the activity will, as it always does, come up this afternoon over the mountains and then start tracking eastward through the afternoon hours with the potential for some slow moving storms that might produce some heavy rain in spots. Prior to any storms arriving, we should hit the 90s in much of eastern Colorado, so it's going to be a very warm day today. 70s and 80s should do it for the mountains and mountain valleys. The best coverage of thunderstorms will exist in that, say, 3 to 9 o'clock time frame. Notice that Skycast at 6 has some pockets where we have some yellows and oranges on the map. That's an indication in the computer model of some of that heavy rain that might be falling from these storms. Should such a storm drift over one of the burn scars, then yeah, we could have some trouble with flash flooding. But for most areas, I think our main concern today will just be some heavy rain and some frequent lightning. We don't expect severe weather. After 9 o'clock, the showers and thunderstorms should gradually wind down, leaving us partly cloudy as we head into tomorrow, which looks like a slightly more active day on the thunderstorm front, so we'll bump the coverages up from about 30% of the area today to maybe as much as 40% of the area tomorrow and Monday. Added cloud cover, added storms should see our temperatures gradually cool off through Monday. Uh, storms might be a little stronger, not only in their ability to produce heavy rain tomorrow and Monday, but maybe even some severe weather in parts of eastern Colorado. So we'll track that closely tomorrow and Monday. Tuesday, some cooler air starts to come in. Our chances for storms start to decrease, and by Wednesday and Thursday, some very dry air for this time of year looks to work into the area and relatively cool air too. Highs on Wednesday only in the 70s and because the air will be much drier, we'll get cooler at night. Lows probably down to around 50 Tuesday night. Yeah, it won't stay cool for long. We'll be back in the 80s by Thursday and Friday, but it still looks like it'll be dry. Pueblo mid 90s tomorrow, low 90s on Monday, then we'll tail off into the 80s Tuesday and Wednesday. Some more comfortable weather for sleeping here as we hit the middle of next week. Lows will be in the mid 50s. If you don't get rain here the next two or three days, you're probably done for the rest of the next seven days. Canyon City, you too could be looking at some storms capable of producing heavy rain at the very least, at least through Monday, and, and maybe, maybe into Tuesday. That's going to depend on the timing of that front, which is a little hard to pin down four days out. But when it, when it comes in, I mean, we're going to get cooler. Highs down around 80, lows should dip back into the 50s for a couple of days before we're reaching up to around 90 again by Friday. Teller County, I think you'll gradually slide through the 70s into the 60s by Tuesday. Real good chances for rain off and on the next several afternoons. We'll go with about a 40 to 50 percent coverage. So again, if you're um, up in the mountain areas, certainly you want to do most of the outdoor stuff in the morning or at least plan to be interrupted at times in the afternoon. Highs Tuesday and Wednesday only in the 60s. Look at the overnight lows, perhaps in the low to mid 40s, so downright crisp Tuesday night and Wednesday night. A um, little sign of things to come. You know, it's, it's still August, but as you know, it won't be too long before, um, well, it starts to change around here. Uh oh, so does that mean we're going to start getting much cooler temperatures for the rest of August? What do you think? No, not really. I think this is just a little blip in the old roller coaster here right now. We'll be all right, but um, usually we have to wait till September before it starts getting more. Uh, routine mm -hmm. for us to start getting cooler. In the meantime, I'm just kind of happy we're going to dry things out a little bit personally because at night it's been a little bit tough to sleep because it's been a little bit sticky. Yes, especially last night. I felt like last night it yeah. was really hot. It, so it was humid. We'll definitely welcome some of that cooler air at night. So, all right, excellent. Well, thank you, Marty. You're welcome.